jigga, 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 jigga. You want a hip massage? Can you sing to the sweet potatoes? It's the sweet potato. It's the sweet potato. Grow. Go. <laughs> okay, go get your ball. Hey friends, welcome back to my channel. My name is Hus5. This is your first time. Thank you for stopping by. So uh, why am I sitting behind the sweet potatoes? Uh, good question. Well, one, because they're delicious. And two, because they need a new home. So, true story, for my birthday this year, Mr. Nate, who I told you about, he is an avid gardener. He gave me these sweet potatoes as a birthday gift. They were this big when he gave them to me, but he gave them to me along with a nice big pot of very nutritious soil. So in less than a month, they have outgrown this pot. They're everywhere. They're all over the floor. So that brings us to my next project. I am going to give him a new home, and I am going to attempt to building an elevated garden bed. Yeah, let's see how that goes. You need help? Good boy. A few weeks ago, one of my neighbors was replacing his old fence and he was going to toss this portion of the fence. And of course, I took it off his hand and I stockpiled it in the backyard and I just knew it would be the perfect material for this garden bed. So what I'm doing here is removing all the nuts and the bolts using my needle nose pliers. This took quite a while and it was quite a task so if you need to do this, needle nose pliers are the tool to use. After that I cut all my wood to size. The longer sides are 48 inches and the short sides are 28 inches. So I then got a good luck kiss from my little helper and then I proceeded to put this bed together. The method that I'm using is a method I saw on YouTube, which is where you bring the two opposite corners together by building the L shape. And then when you bring them together, they make a rectangle. And then you put the other two legs. I'll be honest with you and say that that method did not work for me. It may work for you, but it didn't work for me, so I had to try another method. But of course, Mr. Preston danced throughout this whole frustrating process for me. <laughs> so he definitely made this a little bit more exciting and more entertaining. It took about two hours to do this between the failure and having to supervise him. So you guys check on your friends with toddlers, okay? We really need it. Uh, so here I am putting my two L's together and then I brought them to make the rectangle as you see here. But of course the boy had a bucket on his head so I had to stop and make sure he didn't fall into all this pile of wood. Alright. So now that I've gotten my rectangle, I am now putting the other legs and I'm using a nail gun. And the purpose of using the nail gun first is that you can use the nail guns to hold the wood in place and then go back and uh, put your screws in. But like I said, this method did not work for me because the structure was too unstable that I couldn't get a grip or enough stability to be able to put enough strength behind it to do my countersink holes for the screws so of course i had to scrap it but i once read that vitality lies not only in the ability to persist but also in the ability to start over and that's exactly what happened here i had to start over and i'm glad that i did because i then learned a new method that worked for me so you guys be okay and be willing to try different things and welcome failures because through failure we learn so many other lessons. So after put the two long sides together I then put the short sides and it came out much better and so I was very pleased with that. I then went ahead and I put the bottom pieces. I am countersinking using a drill bit and then I'm gonna go back and use my three inch exterior screws. It is important to use exterior screws because you don't want them to rust over time. 
I'm not going to need to treat this wood because it was a fence and fences are usually treated to be outdoors so I don't need to do a treatment on the wood it should be okay now after I built this I put out a poll on Facebook asking whether I should paint it or leave it alone and it was 50 50 50% 50 for painted and 50% for leaving it alone I had to be a tiebreaker I chose to leave it alone I thought leaving it alone would speak to its true history and so then I cut some landscaping fabric to fit and I installed it on the inside using a staple gun. Uh, and after that I put my soil in and then I brought the sweet potatoes and they were then rehomed in this new beautiful garden bed that took several hours to construct. So guys, I'm going to now let you watch the rest of this video. If you were stopping by here for the first time, thank you. Uh, please consider sticking around by subscribing. And if you're already a subscriber, thank you again. And please uh, make sure that you've hit that bell button so that YouTube notifies you every time I upload a video. My goal is to get a video out to you guys every Tuesday, so you don't wanna miss those. Uh, until next time, guys, thank you so much for watching. I'll see you soon.